Hi, Pam here with Pam's Paper Place, and I have some combined um, journal making supplies from thrift stores, so I have uh, quite a bit combined, so I'll see how much I can get through. It might have to be a part two. I'm not sure. I got this uh, Gardening Made Easy. It's a really large book, and um, I can reuse this as a journal to cover. And what I like about it, for junk journals, you can, you know, open up this page here. So this would be really nice because all of these open up like that. So this would be a really great, um, you know, junk journal, pretty, um, for junk journals, the gardening one. So I really like that. Got that from the thrift store. And we'll do some books first. I got this North American Wildlife. This cover's pretty. I'll just get rid of this. Um, it has this cute little chipmunk on it. North American Wildlife. The cover's a little beat up. And I, I liked it because of these images here. If you got your fish, you got your birds. These would be pretty cut out. More birds, animals, and look at that. Isn't that pretty? So that is Reader's Digest North American Wildlife. So if you're interested in that, I think that would make a great, um, you know, you could use that in your journals. I have the Illustrated Treasury of Cooking. I think I already have one of these. But I like it. Look how yellow the papers are. And the fun illustrations in here. Look at that. These colors here. And um, looks like the 70s. These colors, the yellow and orange. Not sure if there's a date. I don't have the first you know, pages in this, but that's fine. So I have that one. The Illustrated Treasury of Cooking. Fun, fun cover. And I got the Complete Family Flower and Garden Book. This is only a dollar. Really neat illustrations. 1981 printing. And they're kind of a thicker... Uh, paper, almost like a newspaper quality. That was be fun in a gardening homemaker journal. Let's see what else we got. We have a couple ideals magazines. I got. Um, let's see. I got one Christmas one. Look pretty. Those are very pretty images. Look at the little kitten in the basket. Very nice. I like this. I like to use the Ideals magazines in my journals. There's a Thanksgiving one. Oh, pretty. Look at the fox. Then I also have this one, the best of Ideals. That'll be good in a farm journal. The next journal that I make will be a farm journal using, uh, it's 1978, using um, Studio 28E, Sherry Smears, um, one of her digikits. So that's the next project I will be working on. So I can use some of those images in that farm book. I got a really cool Reader's Digest. Look at that blue one. Just love these covers. I got the tin box. Horatio Alger Jr. Look at that, these pages. These would make great altered book pages. I've got the alley. Just thought it was a pretty color, mainly just for the cover. 
Well, I have two little Goldens, the Fire Engine book and the Pokey Little Puppy, and they're in really nice condition. They might be newer versions. Um, I don't know when I'll do another little Golden book. We'll see when things... We'll see what happens with Kappa and what's all going on with that situation. I have this uh, vintage wallpaper. Isn't that beautiful? So um, this is a haul from several different um, thrift stores. Then here's some gift wrap with the seeds and the flowers. I've got two of those. Kind of vintage, 1996. Now that, I found some napkins even, Cypress. I think that's a pretty good brand of napkins for $2. Very pretty. Images on there. We got some recipe cards, a dollar for these. It's not a whole lot, but Studio 18. And then I got a whole package of recipe cards for a dollar. So, and then there's just in index cards, but I like these. I mainly got them for the little, could alter these file folder dividers. Those are my recipe cards. I got some um, gingham, two different kinds of check print gingham. I like gingham. And then I got From the Crash to the Blitz, 1929 to 1939, the New York Times Chronicle of American Life. This will used to be a library book, looks like. I thought the images some cool radios. Um, see, they've got really nice images and history. So I can cut these out. Here's these images, 1929. Unboxing. Fun. I might read some of this too first. I have this book. I never find too many with real pretty covers. Is that German? Possibly. I love this color. It was only a dollar too. It was a good deal. It was just this one. Um, look at that. See, I don't have too many like this. And I think there's, I think that's German, but I don't know. Or maybe it's Dutch. There, another really cute photo. Or not photo, picture. So I think there's some in here with pictures. But I really like that. Then I love this cover too. I thought this would be good for a tropical or a sea type seaside journal. Underwater scenes. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. I've never read this. Might need to read it first. That's pretty. So this would make a nice altered book maybe. Love that. Beautiful cover. I have two of these, the 20th Eventful Century, The Way We Lived. These are Reader's Digest. This is 1900 to 1914. And I thought it would be interesting, too, to, you know, read up on it, too. Very interesting history. Oh, look at that picture. So we have that one. We have this one. Let 
Right, you know, three women in the workplace. It's an old fashioned grocery. More time food rationing. So I, I want to read this. So, interesting, interesting books. I have two of these. These have great illustrations. One is uh, Annuals, The Time Life of Encyclopedia of Gardening. And I, and I do have this book also, but I like to cut these out. Beautiful images. It's one of my favorite for gardening. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So a lot of it's pictures, but there are some, you know, just the illustrations. This is the same, but this is bulbs. And this is what I like are these. Gorgeous. Lilies. I have some of these. I have those. And then a few more books. I have oh, Jolly Old Santa Claus. I could use this in one of my journals. Cute with the elves. I can still add that to the, uh, the Christmas elf journal that I'm giving away. Oh yeah, there's lots of elves. I will put this, add this to it. Um, Jolly Old Santa Claus, Hinky Candy Cane Press. I like those illustrations. Keep that aside. We've got Doris Eggs. That would be cute for a farm journal. So it's got chickens and eggs, cute little story with animals, colorful pages, pigs and ducks. Cute. I have a vintage look Cinderella book like this. And the covers are pretty, the Cinderella. And it has um, the silhouettes. I really like I think Cinderella's a fun story. Look at that colored silhouettes. It was first published in 1919. I have a family circle, pies and cakes cookbook. And there's even an older recipe in there. That's awesome for sweet dough. Bonus. Let me get that. Latest is 1978. Look at the illustrations. Chocolate cake, pies. Great. I have a fairies coloring book. I'm also going to do a design team project. Um, Elsie Bell's um, a fair, a design team project in December. So this would be kind of cool to add to the little fairies coloring book. I have two uh, storybooks that are vintage. The Grimm's Fairy Tales. Random House. Love these. It was given to somebody in 1978. Like originally it was 1955, but you got some of the stories that Brave Taylor, Snow White, and Rose Red. I may have this book too. So that'll be nice. So I, uh, you know, I don't have to worry about, if I have two of them, I don't have to worry about, you know, being afraid to use them because I've got two. That beautiful Grimm's Fairy Tales. We have that, and then we have we've got this cute, the golden book, Storytime Tales, a big golden book. Oh, look at this. So pretty. 
the tinder box oh look at these cute little illustrations gingham lena never heard of it very cute circus i'm gonna do a circus one there's a train one fireman this will be great the fox and the grapes ah very cute look at that little elf beautiful cover then I just have these, and then I think I have some laces that I got. So I have Old Fashioned Children. I can't believe I found this. Paper dolls in full co color. I love paper dolls. 1989. It has this cut out here. Oh, look at that with the Christmas ones. Christmas. I don't know. Do I have the paper doll? Oh, look at that with the horse. And it's beautiful. Oh, look at the farm ones. Oh, so cool. I hadn't looked at this. It's thicker. Uh-oh, don't I have the dolls? I don't see the dolls. Oh, that's beautiful. Are they beautiful? Oh, I think it might have been ripped out. Look. Old-fashioned children. Well, that's too bad. I don't have the dolls. But I could, oh, I could cut that out, maybe use it kind of as a, as one. It's very cool. Then I have Polly Pratt paper dolls. It's a great deal. 1992. Oh, the dolls are cut out. That's okay. Oh, no, they're not. Unless, is that the paper doll? Look, they cut something out. Oh, this will be great. A few things are cut out. That doesn't matter. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Beautiful for Christmas. Gorgeous clothes I used to wear. Easter. Dial party. So I was really happy to find that. Don't find these every day, I don't think. Then, oh, I just got some. I think these are from IKEA. Just uh, you know, little file folders too that I can put some of my ephemera in. And then what I've got was what are we at 18 uh this was 16 yards for 350 and i don't have a lot of eyelet trim and this is this is a white and this is more of a cream so very very happy with that awesome and then here's the white look at all that three dollars don't know how many yards Love eyelet trim. I got some recipe cards that were a dollar. Hero Arts. And then you can stamp, I guess, here. Maybe put a little stamp of something. That. I got some five yards. That was a dollar seventy-five with this green trim. I haven't ever seen that color before. Love it. 10 yards, $4. This I think I'll put in my farm journal or something. Excited about that. You can find all kinds of things at thrift stores. And this was probably you know, three or four trips, so I didn't get this all at once. Let's see what else I got. I'll just pull it out. I think this is uh, all I have. So here's some more of that eyelet, same white, $2. I got this beautiful, this would be pretty in a shabby chic for $2. Very nice. It's like a lot on there. They had more I didn't get, but 
I was happy with this. This I think was 50 cents. Like a bandana ribbon trim. And I got this Christmas half yard for 75 cents. Oh, should have put that in my, my Christmas journals. I have some more six and a half yards of more of a creamy type. It's more of a cream eyelet. Like it. So I did good. And here's the crochet. Beautiful. This was 75 cents. It's not vintage, but um, oh, it's like a band. It's very pretty. This was a dollar. Sorry for the crinkling. They're like little bands. Maybe they were cut off something, I wonder. Very pretty. And then here's the same. It's just with the blue. I think this is the same as the other. Pretty pink trim. And then there's one more. I think that's all I got. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. A lot of books, maybe. Okay, yeah, it looks like this was taken off something. You know, it could have been off a pillowcase. I bet that's what it is. So we have this too, I think. Two of those, yeah, but that was off two pillowcases. Trim. So that's what I got. Um, probably about three or more uh, stops at my thrift store so it's excited to get all that and i thank you for watching and if i don't see you before thanksgiving if you're in the u.s happy thanksgiving